Good view of Discovery here. Still 73 miles away from Kennedy Space Center and 15 miles up. Traveling 1,700 miles per hour with six minutes to go. Discovery Houston, you are on energy approaching the hack. No changes to winds and weather. Go for nominal shoot deploy. Copy. Copy, is in nominal shoot deploy. Discovery will soon be approaching the imaginary circle leading towards the runway that's created by the microwave scan beam landing system. That allows the commander and pilot to guide the vehicle as it makes its final approach to runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center. There the commander will take control of the shuttle steering once its speed has dropped below Mach 1. It's at 1.2 right now, Mach 1 being the speed of sound. Discovery is currently traveling 800 miles per hour, 68 miles away from Kennedy Space Center, and uh, less than 10 miles in altitude. Discovery will be making its left-hand overhead turn of 200 degrees before it's lined up with one run runway 33. And Commander Alan Poindexter is now at the controls of Space Shuttle Discovery as it's reached subsonic sound speeds, rather. those sonic booms announcing sonic booms announcing Discovery's arrival. It's now just 68 miles away from Kennedy Space Center, 27,000 feet in altitude and traveling 530 miles per hour. Discovery on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Jim Dutton now taking over controls of the shuttle for a moment. And that call from Cap Palmer Exterco indicates the shuttle has 180 degrees to go in its turn around toward runway 33. All continuing to look good on board Discovery as it makes it way, its way home. 68 miles to go, currently 3 miles in altitude and traveling 420 miles per hour. Discovery, you are on at the 90. On at the 90. And Commander Alan Poindexter, now back in control of Space Shuttle Discovery. Just two minutes now until touchdown. Discovery, runway in sight. Roger. Less than a minute and a half until touchdown. Discovery is now descending 
at a rate 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than what a commercial airline would experience on its final approach. One minute now to touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Thirty seconds until touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS-131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station systems cooling properly. Discovery brings home with it the last large return load from the station, two tons of used equipment. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery, welcome home. Dex, congratulations to you and the crew on an outstanding mission. There are no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist. Here's the Discovery. Thanks for those words, CJ. It was a great mission. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed working with you and all the teams of Mission Control. And we're glad that the International Space Station is stocked up again. Thanks a lot. In addition to stocking up the station, Discovery brought home with it two tons of used equipment and site experiments to return to the ground inside of the Leonardo Multipurpose Logistics Module and Discovery's cargo bay. Next time.